Welcome to the Find an Analyst tutorial. To edit your Find an Analyst profile, you'll need to be logged in as a member. To do this, go to the top of the home page and click for members. Enter your email. And your password. Click log in or enter on your keyboard. For more detailed instructions on how to log in or on how to change your password, please watch the first video in this series. Once you're logged in as a member, click My Account at the top of the page. This page here shows you the contact information that APSA has on file for you. If this information is incorrect, please contact Brian Canty in the National Office. Next, click the Edit tab. The first thing you should do is upload a picture of yourself. This is highly recommended, as studies have shown that people seeking help via the Internet are much more likely to select a person who has made a photo of themselves available. So we're going to scroll down until we get to Upload Picture. Click Browse. This will take you to your computer where you can find a photo of yourself. Double click on the photo that you select and press enter on your keyboard. This may take a second or two, but changes have been saved. And there's the photo. If you're unhappy with the photo, click delete and enter on your keyboard and just select a different photo. You'll notice that you're able to change your name and your other information on this form. Please note, however, that changing the information here only affects Find an Analyst. It does not change your member information in the APSA database. If you wish to change how APSA contacts you, for example, if you've moved, changed your name, your email address, or your telephone number, please send your new information to Brian Canty. The next step to a completed Find an Analyst profile is to enter your practice information. If you have a website, enter it here. Note that you will need to enter the full website, including the HTTP portion. Next, go to Groups Treated. You can select any that are applicable to your practice. To select more than one, hold down the control key and click. Same with special interests. Scroll down and see all of the special interests we have listed. Select the ones that are appropriate for you. To select more than one, once again, hold down the control key and scroll through to those appropriate for you. If you're interested in consulting with businesses, media, other mental health professionals, or other groups, do the same thing as you did before. Click or press control and click more than one. Select whether or not you accept insurance. And for languages, you can scroll down to English and you do the same exact thing. Control and pick as many as you want. Let's say German and French and English. You can ignore the locale settings option. Click Save. Your changes have been saved. If you want to see what it looks like, click the Find an Analyst tab, type in your name, hit enter, and this is what people will see 
when they find your profile on Find an Analyst. If you have any questions, please contact Brian Canty.